Hello, welcome to the Gaia Sphere webinar. So, to talk a little bit about the Gaia Sphere, um, let's see, just double checking to make sure we're recording here this morning. All right. So, the Gaia Sphere is something that came in after we made the tensor field generators. Uh, good morning. Just making sure we're all good here on the uh, on the side with all of our chat. Hey, good morning, Malie. Awesome. So the Gaia spheres are something that came in after the tensor field generators, uh, the Genesa crystal. We created those. Um, one quick thing too, while we're here on the side chat. If you would like to check the side chat, I did mention a coupon code that we are gifting out for the next 12 hours for those of you who are here in attendance. Um, so yeah, be sure to attend the live webinars and we offer coupon codes at that time just for the particular items that we are discussing that day. So the Gaia Sphere. Um, really a phenomenal tool. So it was about 2011 and you can certainly check on the Gaia Sphere website. It has the channeling from the Elders 3 on there, which yes, that was actually 2011 where the Elders 3 channeled the information about the Gaia Sphere, uh, my sister Brenda and the Elders 3. So this, uh, this particular sphere we call it the Gaia sphere because of the way the energies move within the sphere. It is just like the energies move within the earth, um, within Gaia. And it also has the geometry, which um, for any of you sacred geometry people out there, it's the icosadodecahedron. Now this particular geometry is also seen as an earth grid. Um, another reason it's called the Gaia sphere. But if you like to read that short channel that the Elders 3 put out on this one, it's really phenomenal. And it talks about transferring that energy as you feel it rolling around in your hands, which is pretty phenomenal. Now, this one is the Golden Fire Gaia Sphere, the five and a half inch Golden Fire. It's one of my favorites. It's a little bit heavier gauge. It just feels really good in the hands. Um, the Golden Fire Gaia Sphere will do everything that the golden fire generators do with the extra added bonus of connecting hearts with everybody within the room now all the golden fire tools within that sphere of influence it'll connect you more into the heart but this particular one will connect hearts with all others within a sphere you know sometimes we'll do that infinity to connect heart to heart when we go places like workshops or anything of that nature where we are dealing with groups of people, even right here, right now, it's that infinity that connects the heart to your heart. And that's not the head to head, the junk to junk. It's the soul to soul connection. So everybody within that sphere, it receives that connection and all the energetics of the golden fire. So this one has been one of my favorites for ever since it came out. Um, you know, a lot of people would actually take these and they put them right on top of their head. When I go to shows, most people grab them, put them on top of their head. And, you know, we always kind of wondered about that. But then after we looked into it deeper, these guys are almost a representation of like that ball of light that you always see Isis with on her head. Um, it just totally reminds us of that when people are holding it there. Interesting. Um, it's just amazing how people intuit the tools and do what they need to with them. So like the Gaia sphere, it can be just sat in the home. Um, it can be put in a sacred space if you wish, um, you know, like an altar or whatever. You can put crystals inside of it, things like that to transmit the energy out just like you would a, a tensor field generator. Now the Gaia spheres, when we first made them in 2011, it was really interesting because the tensor field generators are four rings interwoven. The Gaia spheres are six rings interwoven. Now that's why they, you cannot get these guys perfectly round 
is because each one of these rings goes over, under, over, under. They interweave between each other. So these never are a perfect circle. We get them as close as we can, that's for sure. These are a lot of work to round. So with that original Gaia sphere, when I put in the sixth wire into that, there was always something really magical that would happen. Um, whether, you know, the first time it happened, a wayward popped in. And I thought that uh, a ghost, a wayward, and I thought that was kind of strange, but basically it just raised the vibration to where he popped in and he was ready to go home. Um, the Gaia sphere, whenever you connect that sixth ring in there, it's when this thing just becomes a little ball of magic. Um, they're, they're pretty phenomenal. So the Gaia spheres became, um, they were first made in, you know, the older cubits that we were making at the time. And they were always, we made them great big, like 24 inches across. And they went in the base of all of the ascension chambers. So all of the ascension chambers that we create all the way up to the, um, the new ascension pyramid, which the ascension pyramid uses the eight inch Gaia sphere in it. The Gaia spheres have always been there for that grounding, for that connecting with the earth uh, within all the chambers. So, you know, they've, they've been an integral part of all the ascension chambers for that grounding. For me, I actually sleep with the golden fire generator on the windowsill right above my head at night. But I also sleep with the regeneration one now, too, because these guys are flipping phenomenal, the regeneration. We'll get into those in a moment. Um, so the golden fire Gaia sphere, um, again, does everything that the tensor field generator does, but brings in that extra heart connection. Um, I guess there's not too much more to say about that. Um, and you can certainly look up on the tensor field generators and what the golden fire generators do for electromagnetics, for dense consciousness, ghost waywards, the sacred heart activation all of that, really a phenomenal tool. I'm even wearing my mini Gaius here today. This little guy is a little regeneration one that my shop foreman Lucas made out of silver. And we'll certainly consider carrying these guys, but you know, that's a tough little critter to make. Um, we actually used to make smaller pendant ones too as well years ago, I think in the 188 megahertz frequency. Now, the regeneration, now this is a three inch regeneration Gaia sphere. Um, and the golden fire, we used to make a three inch golden fire as well. Um, well I think we have maybe one left in the shop. We're just kind of, we limited those runs. But um, so right now we're only making the golden fire in the five and a half inch. And at the moment we're making a three inch and an eight inch regeneration Gaia sphere. That's for sale for general public. I mean, like I say, we make some of these giant ones, but they're just tough to ship. So we, we, we don't put them out for sale on the website. Now, the regeneration Gaia spheres are doing everything that the regeneration rings do, um, which is, you know, bringing in that light more. They're just a higher frequency of a tool. They're not only just higher frequency, and that's not even the right words, they go through so many more levels and layers of where we exist as the human. They are working here on this physical, they're working on all of the different bodies all the way up to the soul level. And of course the golden fire works on most of those bodies as well, but the regeneration just takes things even higher, but also when it's put into the sky sphere, it is so grounding. Um, I, I would like to walk you guys through actually a meditation here in a moment that does basically what the regeneration Gaia sphere does for the human. Um, tell you what, let's do that right now. So if you guys like to join me in this meditation, quick, simple, easy, we're gonna go into the sacred space of the heart. So if you'd like to close your eyes, you don't have to, but just put your attention onto your physical heart where your light is, your soul's fire. Now within your physical heart, expand that light out. 
We can take those three breaths to make sure we're in our heart, which is breathing in the energy of the earth right into the heart. Breathing in the energy of source, soul, creation, God into the heart. And breathe in both of those into the heart at once. Earth and sky. Mixing that together with you. Just becoming that column of light that is grounded and connected. All right. Now within the heart. Take that light and expand it more fully into the heart. Now let's send that light straight down into the earth all the way to that heart of Mother Earth, that crystal sun within the Earth. As we connect with that crystal sun of the Earth, that heart of Gaia, expand with her, just become her light. Yours and her light intermingle. And then we bring that all the way back up to the heart again. So within the heart is your light, is her light. So that's basically what the regeneration Gaia spheres are doing is it is connecting our heart with the heart of Gaia and expanding that out. Um, again, you can read in the descriptions a little bit more on the regeneration Gaia sphere, but that's kind of one of the basic things it's do it does. Now, when I mentioned that crystal sun within the earth, the first time we saw that was when we made a um, harmony Gaia sphere, a large harmony Gaia sphere that went in the base of the chambers. Now, that is the first time that we saw that crystal sun within the earth. And we we're like, wow, what the heck is that? And um, so the Gaia spheres have been pretty special on showing us different things along the way. That one with the crystal sun with the harmony was pretty phenomenal. Um, morning, Sod. And morning, Samson. And all you guys, thank you guys for all being here. Really appreciate your support. Um, one of the other things that the Gaia Spheres, we made a, gosh, what was it? I think the 888 series, we made a Gaia Sphere. Because I was always looking for a tool that would assist with crossing over ghost waywards. And so create a Gaia Sphere. And within that Gaia Sphere, there were um, beings that were there that would assist. They would do the healing work. They would do everything else with ghost waywards. They'd bring them into the Gaia Sphere. They would hold them in that healing space until I came there to put my attention to open up the light so that they could cross over. That was the closest thing that we could find to help with clearing over ghost waywards. We only made one of those Gaia spheres and somebody ended up buying that and they're still using it to this day, I'm hoping. Um, so the Gaia spheres have always been really special in the energetics that they hold. Um, they're kind of like a tensor field generator, but to me, they feel a lot more sacred. Um, so, and if you guys have any questions here along the way, please do holler. But again, um, have that coupon code for today. If you look up here on the chat, um, that's good for the next 11 and a half hours. But um, yeah, the Gaia spheres, they're, they're just pretty magical. I guess I don't know what else to say about them. Um, Anyway, here in the future, I'm sure as we come through with new frequencies through the years, um, things like that, we will have Gaia spheres made in all different sizes and frequencies. Again, got the tiny little guy right now that we might end up putting limited runs of these guys out. They're just so tough to make. That's why we would do limited runs on them. Um, but you're welcome to inquire at the studio. So anyway... I guess short and sweet again today. So if nobody has any questions, we'll just end the webinar there. And please do check out that short little channel that is from the Elders 3 on the Gaia Sphere. Um, and then the testimonials, there's only four testimonials currently on the Gaia Spheres. 
um, which is kind of strange because I, I know we don't sell a whole lot of these, but you know, I, I hope you guys are enticed to get one of these guys. Again, if you look at the geometry here, there is the five pointed star on it. There are actually 12 five pointed stars within this geometries. And again, it's known as the Icasa dodecahedron. Pretty fun little tool. The very first one of these that I wove was a 24 inch one out of a sacred cubit. Still have that one around somewhere. But I tell you what, those things, these were really tough to figure out in the beginning. We actually, um, because we help, we like to try to help out tensor tool makers out there. We've actually put out a video on how to make these guys and they're pretty tough because of that weave pattern. Um, but again, that's why the cost on them is time, energy, materials. So anyway, uh, somebody had a question. Um, can we use the Gaia spheres for energy work like Reiki, acupuncture, distance healing? So having the golden fire Gaia sphere within your healing space is going to do phenomenal things in the first place because it's going to bring people more into the heart. It's going to ground them. And then it is also going to do that heart connection, that soul to soul connection. And that in itself is going to bring through your higher healing work intentions and it's going to start the process already. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty phenomenal for space holding, um, not only the environmental space, but the person, the person, soul, the soul connection space, um, where these guys assist the regeneration Gaia spheres. These guys are assisting with, um, a lot of the people who are really discombobulated, they're ungrounded. Um, they're always just out there these guys will assist with that. So if you have, you know, clients that are in that nature that come in just all scattered, having the regeneration Gaia sphere within the space is going to help them come more into the body, but it's not limiting by grounding. It's a different kind of grounding. It's just a bringing everything together and in, um, let's see. And then somebody asked, uh, plan to produce silver Taurus pendant. So we still have the silver Taurus pendants that we do put up on the website from time to time. Again, it's kind of like these little Gaia spheres where they're just tough to put into full production. So we do limited runs of the Taurus pendant as Juris was asking here. Um, so do check the website time to time on the silver Taurus pendant if you're interested in those. And I believe we have maybe one or two in stock right now um, but the website's always there and so then um, as far as the question on the silver tourist pendant on making the non-limited runs we will someday have the tourist pendants offered um, as as just a general product without limited quantities that's the intention anyway all right well again Thank you all for being here and for the support. And um, one last thing, I guess we're going to do it. Sacred Heart Activation with the Golden Fire. So one of the things that the Golden Fire tools do is they activate the Sacred Heart. And um, they have the propensity to activate the Sacred Heart. So all those within the field, it brings the remembrance to the soul of the trifold gold flame heart of that golden flaming heart. I would like to go ahead and offer that activation to you guys here today. I don't know if we have it on too many of the other websites or on too many of the videos, but here we go. Again, if you'd like to join this meditation with us, just close in your eyes if you wish. Put your attention right to your heart, taking in that deep breath from the earth, that crystal sun of the earth, breathing in that light of the earth into the heart. The next breath, breathing in that golden creation energy from creation, source, soul, creator, God, however you see and say that, 
breathe in that energy into the heart. The third breath, breathing in from earth and sky, bringing both energies within you into the heart. So as you stand as a column of light, grounded, connected, and in the heart space, we just ask for your soul to stand right in front of you. To me, the soul will present as like this golden plasma-like being, however the soul presents. We just ask the soul to come in and put its hand right on your chest, right over your heart. And it just activates the sacred heart, that golden flaming heart. So take in that breath. Release. And just receive that sacred heart activation from your soul. So now you can take that golden fire that's in the heart and you can just intend that that flows through the entire body into every cell in between every cell. That will be within the heart. And so now then, when you connect hearts with somebody, it has that propensity to activate the sacred heart of others, just like the Gaia spheres do. All right, you guys, powerful tools. All right, we'll see you next time. Enjoy.